All right, bike plan. <laughs> I just realized that's kind of funny. You haul, baby. You haul. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> so, we got all the paint stripped. There's just a couple little tiny spots around the braking uh, cable line for the clutch, whatever there. One little spot there. Uh, but yeah, she's done. Um, and we're going to get ready to polish it now. So, uh, it's as shiny as it is, but I'm going to try to really make it bling if possible. And uh, we'll let you know how that goes too. So stick around, stay with us. Uh, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you uh, Monday, 5 o'clock, live at 5, Mini Ninja Bike Builders Group. Uh, we're going to be putting the motor on this thing here in a minute. Um, as you guys know, the other day I built this, put together, ran all the numbers, and it detonated within 6 miles. Uh, cheap Chinese rings. So that was definitely depressing, uh, but we're just going to slap this puppy on and see if I can get to work. So until then, everybody, Godspeed. There she is, guys. Uh, we got a little improvised deal here we did with the spring. Got some tension on there. Keep that from moving around. This is uh, right up against the frame. Uh, just holding pretty good there. Had to cut the muffler. And then this is the same size as the down tube from the bicycle. So you have to take and cut a four. You can understand what I'm trying to say. I'd have to show you, but cut uh, into the tube itself and then pinch it in through it the whole way, down the whole way with a cross shape. And then just dented it in a little bit, slid it right in, got that on. So it seems like it's gonna be good so far. One thing I can say about this brand um i gotta change the gas line i got a little leak there but one thing i can tell you guys about this brand um i don't know if they're doing it with all bikes now or it's just this company but um the gas tank that came with it i already had that one on there so we didn't change it out but i'll show you guys real quick just so you can understand it's uh first improvement i've seen in quite some time and uh get in here real quick but it's actually got 10 millimeter um a thicker not like a six but maybe more like a seven or something it's not quite a eight but it's a lot heavier stud and it comes with uh um there you go the nylon nut so once you put it on and it's tight it won't vibrate off so that's pretty cool but uh yeah Welcome to my nightmare. <laughs> Got to get this all cleaned up. It'll have to happen later. Getting ready for work. Got to go up to the store and buy myself a new headlight so I can get home in the dark. So, got to rush out of here. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if anybody ever tells you you can put a motor on in an hour, good for them. I usually end up spending three, four hours. 
if I'm in a rush, it takes me a couple of days sometimes when I take it all apart due to timing and everything else. But uh, the other thing I did here was just double up the air filter on that. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So, all right, well, I gotta fix the gas line and get out of here. So we'll see you soon. All right, here's our prize package. We've been waiting for about three days. <laughs> just gonna open it real quick you guys already know what an engine looks like uh, and it's nothing special to speak of the reason I got this sorry the camera angle is all oh, over the place here oh yeah there we go that'll do it um, came with a speedometer not like that's a real big sell point but Instead of using eBay as usual, I got this through Amazon um, just so I had transportation a couple of days quicker. And uh, yeah, anyway, let's see what we got here. So, I don't want to use Vero, whatever that company is, I've never used them before. I really don't know anything about them. Um, Engine out of here so we can examine it just a bit anyway. Sorry I'm in such a rush, I got a lot to do here. Um but yeah, doesn't look bad all in all. Uh looking for like a stamp or something. See if we can read anything there. LD80. So it's an LD, that's cool. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about the LD100, um, and they, some of them have the, uh, dual spark head, so, um, not sure what the timing is on this or anything, but I probably will just examine it briefly to make sure we don't have any, uh, wow, it looks pretty clean, I mean, it's not ported ported the way I would have it, but no slag in there, nothing. Um, I have to pull the uh, intake off to see what that looks like too, but so far so good. Yeah, it uh, seems like it's got a pretty good uh, luster to it. Not that paint means anything, but they definitely put a heavy coat on there and it's sealed. So uh, two pluses for them so far. And uh, like I said, you know, the sell point for me was just, hey, it comes with a speedometer. So for the extra money, not like it's really going to um, make a difference. At least I got something for it. But see if we can, oh, yeah. Let's see if we can find it. That was easy enough to find. So this little digital thing here. I believe we have to run some type of a wire or something, but... I don't know. We'll figure all that out. Figure it out. Uh, rest of our stuff's in here. It looks pretty good. Uh, standard piece of bowfang. Uh, what does it say on there? Anything? Yeah, bowfang. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> so, all right. Of course, the chain is a standard 415, not a 415H. So, that will probably go in the junk pile directly, and uh, we'll do what we can with that later on. Start making some wall art with that stuff, just hang it all up. Curtains, I can make chain curtains. It'd be some real hippie stuff. <laughs> all right, guys, I know it was a rush, the camera angle was probably off. Just wanted to show you what we got done with this baby too. Ooh, she's getting pretty. We gotta come up with a name. Definitely gotta come up with a name. So let me know in the comments, guys. See what you think, and maybe we'll actually add it on there. All right. Until then, Godspeed. All right, guys, another update on this engine we're putting on the bike. Had a little trouble here. The uh, paint was so thick, I had to use vice grips. Couldn't even get the Allen key in there. But as you can see, it's just clean as could be, so. That's really a blessing. Like I said, for right now, all I want to do is just strap this on and see if I can get to work. So, uh, yeah, if we get some more updates on it, we'll let you know. All right, guys, on the move as always. Sorry if you can't hear me too well. Got the helmet on. Safety first, kids. 
And anything I do at the shop or at home, yes, you can do it, but ask your parents first if you're not old enough. All right, without further ado, we got this uh, deal here. 750 lumens, I think it is. Uh, yep, uh, Husky made, uh, $24. Cheaper than an Energizer headlamp, which is only 550 lumens and Voila, guess what we can do? It will uh, tape right there for now and uh, we'll have a good working headlight. So, boom. Uh, at CVS. Oh, I can't see the fucking sign. Sorry. CVS, Home Depot, on the way to work. Gotta go. Godspeed. All right, here we are on the go, guys. As usual, part of this freaking saga. Look what we got rechargeable comes with a rechargeable battery uh 750 lumens that's just behind um a thousand uh, which is a low beam for a car so i got it fucking um taped on some duct tape from cvs and yeah at work loving it see you guys soon